Hi there, I'm John Leach and you're watching Arc Fishing. What's up YouTube? John from Mark Fishing here. It is Saturday, November 25th, 2017. It is two days after Thanksgiving, one day after Black Friday. I'm heading up to a local lake. Um, it's supposed to be a high of 51 degrees today. Wind, it's going to be no wind for now, but later on it's going to be a high of six miles per hour. So should hopefully make some decent fishing today. I'm going to target largemouth and smallmouth first. If that don't pan out, I'm going to try either trout or crappy bass. Um, friend Brent's gonna meet me up there, so him and I are gonna take my boat out um, one last time. I'm gonna have to winterize it soon. So stay tuned, click that like button, leave a comment below. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned. Alright, well, probably made it on the water. Let's turn the sidle down a little so you can hear me. Alright, I'm down here in the lake. I'm at Blue Marsh Lake in Brest County, PA. It's a little tricky launching this boat. They load the water even more. It's really low. It really should have two people, but I'm gonna go around a little bit, see if I can find a fish before Brent gets here. Stay tuned. Alright, I'm out here in the middle of the lake. I'm in 24 feet of water. I'm not seeing yet. I'm not here in the middle. I think they're gonna be suspended today after anywhere. But I'm gonna go around here in the middle of the lake and see if I can find any of them. So far, nothing show up in my fish finder. Um, water temperature is 47 degrees. Air temperature is supposed to be a high of 54. And slight breed at 6 miles per hour. Now I'm in 29 foot of water. So, uh, looks like some bait fish down there around 30, well, around 28 feet. I haven't seen anything else though. It's a real small school of bait fish. Gotta be in here somewhere. I'm trying to find them. It's a big lake, so I have to use the motor to find them first. Use the outboard. Once I find them, I'll switch over the trolling motor. I'm at 37 feet of water. Still nothing. Wow, just dropped to 44 feet. Big drop off. They gotta be in here. Nice soft bottom. Nothing. Oh, what's this? Uh, a bunch of weeds. Up with the breeze. Oh, there we go. There we go. We found the fish. Wow, they're down deep. All right, we found them. Check that out. There they are. There's two, three of them. All right, we're going to switch over the trolling motor. Turn this, turn this one off. Oh, they're right down there in that pocket. All right, stay tuned.
fell off. Over there. Yeah. Can you get on or not? Not quite yet. Close. I'm actually bottomed out. That'd be freaking kidding me. Hold on a minute. It's even more. It's really low I now. Say, I, I think we lower from the other one over here. I've never seen it this low. This is crazy. Because last time we here, all those rocks weren't sticking out over in the other shore bank over there. They were still submerged under water yet. Yeah, it is. Can you jump on or not? Yep. Got past you. Oh, yeah. I thought you had that. Yeah. Oh, let me do something. But the whole kitchen sink. Yep. Okay, I'm going to be slow now. <laughs> there we go. I know it's doing this angle like that. So it just drips up, yeah. Yeah, if you come all the way down, then it's much better. Yeah, you're running all the gas in the back of the car, so that's why. That makes sense. Yeah, what's up with the trim down? Then it's spot on. I don't have that issue. Oh, what the heck happened here? Oh, I guess I put the wires. So I'm going to try. We'll try this first, then we'll try something else. We'll be out in the middle. Do you have any crankbaits with you? Uh, yeah, I brought my whole thing. I'll put my You got deep ones. I have one that runs pretty deep. I thought about that, or worst case scenario, they're doing it the tournament. Drop a chatterbait and let it go all the way down the bottom. That works. Dip it along the bottom. I'm thinking, I'm, what I'm thinking is it's just going to take the right presentation. Yeah. So any trick you can think of, because yeah. you'll see, I'll start here and you follow the sun, you'll see how the sun's hitting the water. The long last thing where the sun was hitting, there's a weed bed down there and just schooled up in the weed beds. And they're like between 20 and 40 feet deep. And I threw the X wrap and I threw the deep crankbait and nothing yet. I did feel like I had. Like a crap, your bluegill hit it though. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think I'm gonna try the chatter, drop it down, and, and jump it off the bottom so I can get to react to it. That might be. That's just gonna take the key presentation. When I mean, they're stacked in here, you'll see. I'll leave this on for you. You'll see yeah. it. They'll start pinging like crazy. Like it'll start here real sporadic, but the closer I got to that way, the more it started lighting up. There's a drop off right here. The drop off. It's going. See it? See how it's dropping off? Yep. Look at all these fish in my fish finder. And look how deep they are. I'm finding them, I just can't get them to hit. I'm throwing crankbaits. I tried different I tried to wrap the X-wrap, couldn't get a hit, and I'm trying to deep dive in crankbait. But look at them all. Man, they're stacked down there. I ran another guy said he couldn't even find them. They're out in the middle of the lake down deep on the bottom, down there in the weed beds. It's where they are. It's just a matter of getting them to hit in your lure. Alright, stay tuned. Hope I get one on this boat. All right, Brent just Brent Lily just caught a fishing rod. Caught a fishing rod number three meps. So we fishing and Brent didn't get skunked. Hold on, we get up here. Yeah, hit pretty hard. <laughs> Check that out. Oh man, yeah, he almost got off on me too. He almost shook it. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Who would have thunk? <laughs> Clean that up and use it next year. Yeah, you know what? Actually, it doesn't look like it's been there that long. It has a little bit of algae on it, but. Hey, what's up? John from Orc Fishing again. So, as you can tell, it was a tough day in the lake. Um, I found a fish. You can definitely find them, no problem. The problem is catching them. Um, see fish after fish after fish in my boat. Not sure what they were, but threw a bunch of different lures at them. Probably should use live bait, probably would have worked better. But Brent, Brent managed to catch a rod and reel. That was funny. So, anyways, didn't catch no fish. Did land a rod and reel. So I guess, in a way, the skunk's out of the boat. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Sorry there's no fish in the video. Click that like button, leave a comment below. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button. And always remember, navigate life and go fishing. See you on the next video.